trapped in 1989. Jerry, my Asp Explorer, is dead. Cat, hungry. Nova's in my suit. Braben, he's out there. Braben! Ah! Oh, God. It was all a horrible nightmare. Wake up, spatula, before the cat begins to eat your face. Oh, no, it wasn't a dream. I'm really trapped in the 80s. What do I do now, Nova? I suggest you begin by acquiring local currency, so you can feed the cat. And then I will help you track down David Braben, and get your stupid book back. Right. That's one hell of a plan there. I, I did manage to make a few bucks last night checking those little flaps on payphones. Uh, I suppose we could start there. I have a better idea. Oh, you do, do you? Well, pray tell. I was able to reprogram your suit's catheter last night to extract enough cocaine from your urine, with a street price of $1,800, which in 1989 is the equivalent of 800 million credits. There was almost enough drugs in your body to A-rate an imperial cutter. Holy inflation! Okay, so all I have to do is sell these drugs for cat food, and then it's off to find Braben. Nova, I think you know what this means. Hit the montage! Montage cooldown has not elapsed. Montage drive not available. Okay, what can you give me here, Nova? We could do a jump cut. Hmm, I can't believe how easy it was to sell all those drugs. Nova, if we ever get back to 3304, you and I need to get into smuggling. The crime and punishment systems in this time period are preferable to those in our time. However, I must ask what we are doing here. It's an arcade, Nova. We should not be playing games, Captain Spatula. We have a mission. <laughs> Nova, cramming your circuits into my suit must have damaged your deductive reasoning. If you knew your codex entries, you know that David Braben spent the 1980s building simulations of the future universe and disguising them as video games. The first Elite was his first test. He goes on to perfect the simulation over various iterations, eventually creating something... Dengus. Now, no one knows why, but his early work just might tell us what his plan truly is. Of course. In the year 1989, David Braben worked on an obscure game called... Zarch. Exactly. Also known as Virus. Take a look, Nova. There it is. Virus. What did David Braben discover in the Book of Thargoids? Could this be connected to the mycoid virus that took down the aliens so long ago in the future? Excuse me, ah. uh, sorry to uh, interrupt, but uh, I couldn't help over here. You said Braben. Yeah, I, I seek the Braben, but what's it to you? Well, perhaps I, uh, perhaps I can tell you where to find him. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, who exactly are you? Uh, a friend. You see, years ago I worked on Elite. You know, the, the first simulation. I also overheard you talking about the Book of Thargoids. Now that book was David's darkest secret. But who are you to even know of this book? Uh, I'm a detective. I detect. Duh. Oh, I see. Well, everything changed when David brought that book back. We were just a couple of guys working on a video game. But then, one day he comes back with his book and he wouldn't tell me anything. Just that he was excited about something. For weeks he would say to me that he would tell me everything soon. Soon? Well, it wasn't soon after we split up. Yeah, yeah that's right. Captain Spatula, huh? I am picking up emissions from this arcade unit. It is transmitting data and beaming it into deep space, towards the Pleiades system. Bookmark that system, Nova. That's gotta be why he came back to the 80s. Setting up a gaming company now would give him centuries of data. It's uh, kind of like the plot to The Last Starfighter. He's managed to simulate every possible human and alien interaction in those games and then beam the data into space to harvest when he returns to the future. Oh, a, a time traveler. I knew it. Oh, yes, it makes sense now. Can you can you tell me about the future? Oh, boy. Okay, quid pro quo, my friend. You tell me where I can find Braben, and I'll answer just one question about the future. <sighs> okay. Well, the last I heard... Braben was going to Oslo for the Nobel Prize ceremony in a few days' time. Wait, 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 they're giving him a Nobel Prize? <laughs> nah, 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 I think the Dalai Lama had the Peace Prize this time, but, uh, I suspect it's a cover for something else. Though, I don't know what. Might have something to do with that damn book! Okay, then. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, one more question. Which way to Oslo? <laughs> quite a ways down that way, but, uh, you might want to book a flight. Now, tell me, what are the raves like in the future? Are people sitting in a neon body paint? 
I said I'd answer one question about the future. Well, you got a couple more years left, and then the whole neon body paint rave doing karate in your mom's basement thing, well, gets a little lame. So enjoy it while it lasts. Thanks, my dude. Bye. Okay, so Oslo it is. Come on, kitty. What, what's wrong, kitty? Wait, what, what, what do you mean you're not coming? But, but, but I thought, you know, after we'd get the Book of Thargoids back from 1989, I'd drop you off in your invisible dimension on the way home, and everything would be cool. You scratch my back, I scratch the area between your neck and ears, you know. Captain Spatula, I suggest you do not engage in further attempts to convince the feline. We must hurry. <sighs> You're right, Nova. Kitty, I, I wish you'd come with us. I, I know I tried to burn you with a flamethrower and murder you a few times in your sleep, but, but I thought we'd put that all behind us. We'd become a team. I, I was going to get you home, Kitty. If, but you know what? If you want to find your own way, well... I'm not going to get between you and your furry see-through destiny. Captain Spatula, the cat left approximately one minute ago. Fuck. How about some good news for once, Nova? The montage drive is up. Fuck it. Let's montage to Oslo. Language filter disabled. You are consistently telling me, fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, fuck it. Your colorful metaphors do not help you blend in with the temporal culture, as you put it before. They just make you look like a degenerate asshole, and confuse my programming. The next time you tell me to fuck something, remember that I am in your suit now, which was designed with fully programmable hyperlocal pressurization in case of exposure to vacuum. Every inch of your clothing can be manipulated by me at any time, meaning, I could literally fuck you up your own ass with your own suit. Remember this before you speak. So cut the goddamn profanity, please. Language filter restored. Oh, my, uh, I'm so sorry, Nova. I, I, I didn't know the profanity bothered you so much. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry I yelled at you. Being trapped in this suit with all of your human secretions is just... Okay, no time for fifis, Nova. Hit the music, let's go. Everything is starting to fall The beauty of those decadent times Is turning into grunging My spits all Going down the street in my ass wash jeans Got a bandana on, I'm living the dreams I pump my trainers cause I am like airs Got a Game Boy at home, I got a snares Rinse the perjury and take my soul My little sister's got a feature sparkles doll The TV blares some guy in the square He ain't moving for the tank, the animal scales The 80s has come to an end And everything is starting to fall The beauty of those decadent times Turning into grunting, my spits all Driving so fast, bands over outrun Drinking mad like I'm having some fun There's solidarity and gladness too the Times are a change for me and you Apartheid feels like it's coming to an end Mentality free, I hope so my friend A ten button knee in the electric chair There's a hole in the ocean and nobody cares The 80s has come to an end And everything is starting to fall Okay, Nova, this is it. The Nobel Prize Ceremony. Now stay hidden while we're in there. I think I saw Braben in through one of the windows in the back. 
All we have to do is get in close, uh, slap him across the face like a scorned ex-lover to confuse him, and then grab the book and run. Captain Spatula, there's something important I must tell you. Look, it's gonna have to wait till after. I'm in Braben hunting mode here, Nova. I need to focus on the plan. It concerns your plan. I have a better one. Look, there's no better plan than slapping a man in the face and stealing his book. You know that, Nova. Do I? Relax, Nova. I, I don't need your negative juju cramping up my style here, alright? Where's Braven? Is he in here? Ooh. He's gotta be somewhere out there. Hmm. Hang tight, Nova. I'm gonna get a better look. Is this a good idea, Spatula? Trust me, Nova. I blend in like a smoothie. Excuse me. Uh, yep. Yeah. Spatula coming through. Yep. Yeah. Uh, kitchen utensil here. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, man. Hey, Nova, check it out. That's the 14th Dalai Lama. Did I ever tell you I met the 77th Lama during a drunken bar fight in Aravate? Yeah, he socked me with a mean left. Chipped one of my molars, can you believe it? Wait, that's Braben. And, and the book! The Russians. Alright, palms are moist, knees weak, arms spaghetti. It's time for the slap of the century. Hey, you. What? Spaceman. That's the spaceman who blew up my pub. Time in the bar. Oh, no! I said you're barred. Uh, uh, lights getting dim. Ugh, I, I think I'm dying. No.